question from Jane Doe in El Dorado, Arkansas, who asks, what are the cannabinoid acetates such as ATHC and ACBD? Okay, so these are weird. So <clears throat> let me start off by saying I'm a little creeped out by the idea of making cannabinoid acetates. Um, it's, I'm a fan of whole plant organic medicine and you couldn't get further from that with cannabinoid acetates. That said, it's an interesting question and we should dive into it a little bit. So there's something that chemists can do in a bioreactor where they stick the letter A in front of all the cannabinoids. So instead of THC, it's ATHC. And instead of CBD, it's ACBD. Now, this, they do the same thing to make heroin out of poppies. It's, like they, it's used to make a bunch of pharmaceuticals. I'm sure the big pharmaceutical companies sooner or later are going to be offering ATHC and ACBD. And it, 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 again, it kind of creeps me out, but there, there is some interesting chemical properties to that change that are worth investigating on some level. And the key thing is a cannabinoid acetate is water soluble. So all the other cannabinoids can only dissolve in oils. They don't like water. And as soon as you convert it into ATHC or ACBD, it dissolves in water, which means you know, there are potentially applications where it's very hard to administer an oil-soluble form of the medicine, but a water-soluble form makes a lot of sense. In some, in some compounds, the acetate version is also more psychoactive, it's more powerful, and that, you know, heroin is a good example of that. And that can be trouble, it can be really dangerous in some cases, but in terms of, there, like, for instance, there's pediatric cases where CBD doesn't work. Now, in most cases, CBD does work, but not in every case. And that's its own horrible tragedy because people get their hopes up that they found this miracle and it just doesn't work in all cases. It's possible that the problem is a question of reaching, you know, certain receptors. It's possible we don't fully understand how the administration needs to work for all cases. And so, you know, if I was the parent of a special needs kid and CBD didn't work, I might look at ACBD as an alternative. And, you know, I'm not sure that's a good move. I'm certainly not recommending that. I'm no doctor, but that is, you know, an option available within the chemistry of the plant. So these are appropriate for children? Or? I, I'm going to have to say I personally, it, it grosses me out to even think about giving something like that to a kid. So I want to say no, but it certainly deserves more research. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's a lot we don't know about the human endocannabinoid system and cannabinoid acetates are part of that that do deserve further study. Oh, cool. Thank you.